It's just eight hours ago. We have breaking news. We finally have official ladder season two day of October 6th. I repeat, on October 6th. But if you know anything about Blizzard, I wouldn't quite... I wouldn't quite uh, mark that on your calendars just quite uh, just, just yet. There's also new terror zones that have been added. The Pit, City of the Damned, and they remove Maggot Lair, Harem, Palace Cellar, and Lower Karas. The developers have some comments to say about the zone changes. Looks like the dominant driver of these changes was mob density. Rather than adjusting mob density, they opted to remove zones with lighter mob density. Which, let's be honest, all the zones have light mob density. So I'm surprised they didn't remove everything except for the cow farm. Moo 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 moo. Moo 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 moo. There's also brand new Sundered Unique Grand Charms. When push comes to shove, our hand is forced into the Hammerden Jar. And that's because it's pretty much the only build in the game that can clear every zone without any struggles. To promote increased class build diversity, they are introducing six new Grand Charms that allow the player to break specific monster immunity types. These new unique Grand Charms will only drop from terrorized monsters of rare, unique, or champion difficulty. There is a catch, however. They also reduce your resistance to the same element. So pretty much all of you hardcore players just got kicked in the dick. And the softcore players are still grinning from ear to ear because let's be honest, we all know you're starting hell with negative five all resistances anyway. Here's a quick picture of all the charms. As you can see, the charms sunder the specific immunities, but also reduce your resistance of that type by negative 75. Hopefully they make these charms extremely rare and if you're so lucky to find one on hardcore, uh, it could be the death of you. 